I'm going to configure release management to use um, a, a, a new uh, Team Foundation server. So I'm going to go ahead and open the release management client. I'm going to head over to the administration tab. And on here, I've got a manage TFS options. Let me go in there. So you can see we already have the Fabricam fiber collection added. I'm going to add the Tailspin Toys one. So if I click new, I can just put in the name of the server here, or I can put the full URL. You'll see that it kind of builds the URL down at the bottom. You can see at the top as well. I'm going to put the collection name in, which is Tailspin Toys Collection. And you'll see here, I've got the default path and port number. Um, this is just all on the default setup and it's local to this box, so I shouldn't have any communication issues. However, if I hit the verify button, you'll see I get a common error message box pops up. Um, this box gives you possible reasons for the communication problem. One is, you, you know, you've filled it out correctly or the TFS server is unavailable. Um, the other one is that the password is incorrect, which is the case here. I have no uh, connect as account name and password in. Um, so I need to go over here and I need to fill out um, my user. Let me just check name, there we go. And my password and click verify. Now, if that still doesn't work and you don't get a green tick, um, you might want to check uh, uh, obvious things like the spelling of your server and collection name um, and whether you can access those things. The easiest way to do that is to copy this URL, open it up in a browser, paste it in and see if you can actually access it on that URL and indeed uh, it can be much easier to get access to it than just copy it off. Uh, I can make it easier. So now that we have that I can hit save and close and I now have two active uh, uh, TFS connections 